yeah. neurological disorder, chorea. Okay. Yes. Chorea. All right, got it, Willis. Let's move on to this other word, and I'll spell it out. L-A-U-D, um, to laud someone, to loud someone. Talk to us oh, about that. Betty, I have heard a lot of loud. Yeah. Louded, to loud. We don't say that. We have the digraph, that is A and U, combining uh -huh. to represent one sound, that is the long sound O. So oh. we say Lord, Lord, Lord. just like launch, launch. We don't say lounge. Lunch. We don't say loud. And we don't say applaud. Mm. You applaud. 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 Got it, Willis. Yes. <laughs> Moving on that to this other word. Applaud. Applaud. Uh, okay. M Willis, let's take a look at another word and I'll spell this one out to G I S T. You know, the gist of something. I've heard people saying the gist of something. Uh, Talk to us about that. That is where we have a small problem, Betty, when it <laughs> comes to what we call now sounds of English or the English phonology. That is the sound system. When we have that letter I, uh -huh. it takes what we call the short or pure vowel sound E, just like in the word hit, uh -huh. to hit somebody. You can't say to heat. Heat. To hit will be like, now we are talking about what we know in Kiswahili as Joto. Now, we have this word, G-I-S-T. Yeah. Many people pronounce it as if it has the long vowel sound E, uh -huh. gist. The gist of something, the gist of a story, uh -huh. which is inaccurate. We should say the gist, gist. Just, Just. like my wrist, not my wrist, okay. wrist. Wrist. Gist. The gist. gist of the story. Betty, okay. that is it. Got it, Willis. Moving on to the next word. And um, I know this word as presumptuous. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Presumptuous. Yes. Chuous. We have that in English. Presumptuous. Uh -huh. Okay. Presumptuous. What we should avoid is presumptuous. Presumptuous or presumptuous? No. <laughs> you say presumptuous, just the way you've put it, Betty. All right, got it, Willis. Sumptuous meal or sumptuous meal? How do we say that? Sumptuous, sumptuous, sumptuous meal. Okay. Sumptuous meal. Okay. Yes. So let me uh, bring in another word. This one I even have problems with, and I'm not embarrassed to say that. <laughs> so I know this word as um, um, ambi <laughs> ambiguity. Ambiguity? Um, is that the correct pronunciation, Willis? <laughs> Betty, you are not alone on that word. <laughs> so Many I'm people wrong. say ambiguity. <laughs> yes. Ambiguous. So that is not the way we should pronounce that word. Uh -huh. There is giwity, giwity, ambiguity, huh? ambiguity, not ambiguity, ambiguity. That M and B, in fact, the stress is on that letter B. That is the second syllable, that is B. Ambiguity, ambiguity, ambi, not ambiguity. We also say ambiguous, ambiguous, not ambiguous. Promiscuous, not promiscuous. Promiscuity, not promiscuity. So we must be very careful, Betty, when sometimes we are pronouncing words, especially in careers of serious communication. It may be tricky. Some people may not even understand exactly what you're talking about. But when we say them correctly mm -hmm. and repeatedly, there are people who will acquire now the correct or acceptable pronunciation, Betty. Ambiguity. Uh, ambigu ambiguity. Yeah? That's, the, that's, that's ambiguity. correct. Ambiguity. Check, check the camera. Check the camera, Mburu. All right. Okay, well, this is getting sorted out. So it's ambig yeah, ambiguous. Yeah, there is a small problem, Betty. Don't worry. We were having a small problem down here, but uh, it's sorted out by the wonderful Mburu. <laughs> no problem, Willis. It's, it's live TV. Anything happens. Okay, so just so Willis, just before we leave yeah. that word, so it's ambig ambigu hey, eh? ambiguity. <laughs> Ambiguity. Okay. Guity. The tricky part of okay. that word is guity. Guity. Ambiguity. Okay, fine. But if you can't, right. Betty, sometimes, you know, pronunciations are not like <laughs> arithmetics where one plus one equals two. Yeah. You can sometimes use what you are comfortable with or what your tongue 
can right. bring out. Okay. But ambiguity. Okay, Willis. Thank you for that word. I'll leave it for yes. the people on Twitter to try and yes. pronounce it properly. All right, moving on, Willis. So I want us to talk about this word. I had some trouble with it earlier on. Do you say to alleviate poverty, to alleviate poverty? Um, so how do we go about that? You alleviate. Okay. Alle alleviate. Alle alleviate? No. no. Alleviate. Alleviate right. poverty. Alleviate. All right, Willis, got it. Loud and clear. Yes. Let's now move on to our feedback question. And we have uh, somebody here by the name Fatuma Omar of uh, Kilifi. He's asking about this word. She's asking about this word. S-A-B-O-T-E-U-R. A word that we know. I personally know it as sabotoa. Oh. <laughs> no? Betty, that word ends in the sounding ta. Ta. Okay. Sabota. In English, you say sabota. 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 Okay. So you'll find many people saying sabotua, but like you say me. sabota. Okay. Then away from like you. Yes, I mean, I said sub. I, I, I say that you word know, one is One good thing, one thing that I love about you, Betty, is <laughs> you realize that what you don't know, you just accept it. You the accept, way it is. No. And you know, not knowing something does not mean that you are badly off. No. Nobody is perfect, Betty. Nobody, okay. Got it, Willis. Moving on to the other word. So, Betty, if you'll yeah. allow me, I can now go through uh, the other words uh, mm. very fast. Mm. Now, we have Timothy Mochogi of New York, America, and I think I like this. You know, that is about Friday briefing or mind your language for that matter. Uh -huh. Timothy Mochogi of New York, America, we say heard, heard. That is H-E-A-R-D and H-E-R-D, heard, heard. heard. But H A R D, you say had. 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 That is the low front long vowel sound a. Uh, had. Uh. H A R D, but heard. 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 That is H E A R D and H E R D. That is it, Betty. And I think this is a wonderful Kenyan from a Konga Nyamira, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> okay. Now, Lynette Kosgei, you say adoption. Adoption. Okay. Not adoption. Adoption, <laughs> no. Adoption. Adoption. Then Kenneth Jacks Oloch. Yeah. Yes. There are people who say adoption, uh, and even uh, Lynette Kosgay, I think she was trying to allude to that. Okay. Now, Kenneth Jacks Oloch, you say courier services. Courier. Okay. Courier, not courier, not carrier. Courier services. All right. Then we have Mustafa Lekishon of Westlands, Nairobi. You say educate, educate, or Edu. You can also say educate, okay. but we also have edu, educate. educate. Sheila Musioka, mm -hmm. Sheila Musioka, Musioka, you say criteria, not criteria. Many people, Betty, you'll agree with me that many people say criteria, yes. which is inaccurate yes. or wrong. You say criteria, criteria, criteria. interior. Interior, no. Interior. <laughs> okay. Criteria. Criteria. Posterior. All these Posteria. we should be aware of them. So, Sheila Musioka, I hope you've gotten it right, and all our, you know, viewers for right. that matter. Then we have Martino Yombe of Asumbi, Homer Bay County. Mm -hmm. You say inaugurate. To inaugurate. Inaugurate. So that one you should get it right. Then Kipro teach bet gorgeous. Gorgeous. gorgeous, not gorgeous. <laughs> Very common, but you say just gorgeous. Gorgeous. gorgeous, 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 gorgeous is very common, Betty, and I think you can support me on that. But the accurate or the standard pronunciation is gorgeous, gorgeous. gorgeous. So, Betty, I think that does it. All apart right. from one man who is also giving me a word here, salon and saloon. <laughs> S-A-L-O-N is a salon. Okay. But S-A-L-O-O-N is saloon. saloon. That is a model of a car or something yeah. like so. Right. You say saloon. So saloon. Nation Mwaya saloon for the car, but mm. salon for, you know, making our hair and all that. Okay. Now, finally, Betty, yes. or the penultimate stage is the surprise word for Ye tonight. Yes, Willis, what is I'm it? I'm giving you straight away. Uh-huh. Betty, we have 
this word repeat, the verb repeat. Mm. Then we have repetition, repetition. Mm. But when we come to this one, we should not say repetitive <laughs> or repetitive. Uh -huh. That repetitive is the acceptable pronunciation, Betty. Uh -huh. Repetitive, repetitive, repetitive for this word. Not repetitive, repetitive, Rep no. Okay. Repetitive, no. no. Repetitive, repetitive. That is the acceptable wow. pronunciation or the accurate one for that matter, Betty. Hmm. Tricky, but we have to get it right. Very tricky, Willis. Finally, Betty. Yeah. Confusing words. The confusing words. Uh huh. The upper one is secret. 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 A secret. Uh huh. Secret. When we don't have an e at the end. Yeah. Secret. Siri. Mm -hmm. But then when we have an e at the end, we say secret. 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 Not secret or secrete. <laughs> you say secret. I saw that coming, yeah. And sometimes, as I say, let English be English, Betty. Yes, Willis. <laughs> let English be English. English be English. Be All English. Right. Yeah. So, Getting it accurately. Yeah. But we can't be perfect. Not even Willis. Nobody is perfect, Willis. All right. So speaking of which, Nobody. very, very quickly, Willis, that word that I am struggling with still, amb ambigui ambiguity. <laughs> ambiguity. 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 Betty, <laughs> so, uh, some of these words, I've you remember I told now. you one time about what we call mouthfuls? Mouthfuls are words which sometimes are very tricky. Either they are long yeah. or they're like, you know, sometimes, you know, they, they, they look like tongue twisters. But they are, they what are we are used twisters. to, like what we hear locally is ambiguity, yeah. ambiguity, ambiguous. Ambiguity. Yes. But get it from me, Betty, that word we say ambiguity. Okay. And we also ambiguity. say ambiguous. All right. So that is it, my dear sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, brother Willis Ocheng there <laughs> for joining us on Mind Your Language. And, uh, you know, we're all learning. We're all learning. All right. You can tweet him at, at uh, Willis Ocheng1. That is his Twitter handle. And uh, you can have conversations around uh, pronunciations uh, on his Twitter handle at Willis Ocheng1. Or you can just choose to catch him here on Friday Briefing every Friday. All right. So that's it for Mind Your Language. We now want to uh, take a break and we'll be back shortly with sports. Yeah.